Hi, welcome back to part two of Get Piano Lesson 5. Let's continue on where we left off and perform two more sight reading exercises with our left hand. First, let's get our left hand back in our first position, C position, again. Our left little finger should be resting on the C note that's seven white keys to the left of middle C. Let's make sure our wrist is up and our fingers are curved as we take a look at our next sight reading assignment. Here you'll see we have a group of 15 numbers that represent the numbering of our left fingers. What we want to do is slowly begin to read and play each number with the correct finger on our keyboard. And preferably, it's best not to look down at your fingers as you begin playing the notes on your piano. And you'll see it's really not necessary to do so provided that A, your hand is correctly situated in the C hand position, and B, each finger is resting on its properly assigned piano key. So let's begin. Five, four, three, four, four, three, two, three, three, two, one, two, three, five, five. Now, although this number sequence is relatively straightforward and uneventful, what we really want to concentrate on here is keeping our hands steady, making sure our fingers press only one note down at a time, and that we're playing all the notes smoothly and evenly spaced. Sure, this sounds a bit elementary, but for some right-handed beginners, playing even a basic string of notes like this with your left hand can be somewhat of a challenge. But soon enough, with a little practice, you'll be able to play this note sequence at even faster speeds while still maintaining control over your playing. Now, just so we get the full benefit of this finger exercise, let's flip this chart around and see what it sounds like played in reverse. Okay, this should be interesting, because although we're essentially looking at a completely different string of numbers, it's still going to sound somewhat similar to the pattern we just played. So, let's begin. Five, five, three, two, one, two, three, three, two, three, four, four, three, four, five. And just as before, when you're confident you're playing this sequence of notes accurately and smoothly, Try playing it at faster speeds while making sure you still maintain complete control over your playing. <clears throat> Alright, now that we've warmed up with an easy tune-up exercise, let's step it up a bit and try something with a little more movement. Now as you can see in our next finger chart, this sequence of numbers is not quite as linear as our first exercise. This time our left fingers would be a lot busier reaching out and skipping over other fingers to play a much more jumbled set of notes on our keyboard. And if you really take it slow and do this exercise right, and by that I mean without looking at your fingers, you're going to get a terrific lesson in hand-eye coordination that will sharpen your sight reading skills and ultimately help you increase your mechanical proficiency on the piano. So let's begin with our left hand in the C position and slowly pluck away at this scattered set of numbers. Five, three, four, two, three, one, two, four, three, one, two, four, three, five, five. Now, just as before, our goal is to keep our hand relaxed and steady while our fingers play the correct notes one at a time in a smooth and even pace. And only when you're certain you can play this exercise with complete control should you begin to play it a little faster. Then if you want to get a little creative, which I always recommend, try playing these notes in reverse to see the difference in the sound. But remember to start out slow and focus on accurately reading these numbers off your computer screen and then playing them one at a time. Five, five, three, four, two, one, three, four, two, one, three, two, four. 
then when you've got the hang of this finger chart, go ahead and play it a little faster, but as always, stay in control of your playing. <laughs> Well, I think we've gotten off to a great start using our left hand to play different note patterns on the piano. It's actually quite interesting to see how many different melodies you can create just by using only five notes. So I'd like to encourage you to start fiddling around with these five notes and see what kinds of five note finger patterns you can come up with on your own. All you have to do is choose any numbers between one and five and then sit down at your piano and play them in the C position using your left hand. And don't forget, you can get a really interesting variation of sound if you flip your number sequences around and play them in reverse as well. But don't worry, in our next lesson, I'm going to have a lot more work for us to do as we continue to play even more complex finger patterns with our left hand. And of course, if you want to get complete details on what we did here today, all you have to do is log on to www.getpianolessons.com. So thanks for watching my introductory video lesson on basic left-handed sight reading. But be sure to join me next time as we continue playing these left-hand exercises in Get Piano Lesson 6. Take care.